Hello booktube, my name is Kate and this is my channel Chapter Kate. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about books that have put me into a reading slump. We've all been there and we've had, you know, times where reading just doesn't happen for one reason or another. You know like when you get sick and you associate that feeling of being sick with a certain food and then you can no longer eat that food and suddenly cheese ravioli just isn't as appealing as it once was. This is the same sort of situation. These are books that like I tried to read and then a reading slump hit me when I tried to read them and now they're kind of ruined for me because of that. So I'm going to talk about 10 of those books that have put me into a reading slump. The first book on this list is Wicked. I wanted to read this book after seeing it on Reading Rainbow or something. I think I think it was Reading Rainbow. Yeah. And they talked about it. Actually, I think they may have been talking about the musical, but then I found the book and I was like, this must be what they're talking about. Because I feel like they wouldn't have talked about this book on a kid's show now that I think about it. So if you've ever read Wicked, it's like similar to the musical, but like more perverse. I don't know. Like if you took the musical and put it in like a Game of Thrones sort of universe where like things were very adult, it would be this book. I don't, I really don't know why I can't get through this book. I've tried like three times and I still have not completed this book. I've gotten like part of the way through it each time and I don't, I just, I don't even know where I ended up stopping each time. I really don't know. But like, I don't know if it's the language just bores me, or if it's just too slow, or I just wasn't a bad time. I don't know, or maybe it's because now it's in my head that I can't get through it, so now I just haven't been able to. But I'm so determined to try this again one of these days, but it's one of those books. If you haven't seen the musical, the plot is essentially, Elphaba ends up at school with Glinda. So she used to be Galinda, but then she ends up calling herself Glinda because there was a professor that called her Glinda, and he was a goat. And there's all this stuff with animals, and all of a sudden they can't talk anymore, and it's this whole thing. At least I think that's what it's about. But I just can't get through it. I just can't. And this book is by um, Gregory Maguire, and he has an entire series. I think Son of a Witch is one of them, and I think there may be one called Out of Oz, but I'm not really sure. I think there's four. But I just haven't. I can't. And the next one is by the same author, and I feel like just because... It, I associate it with Wicked. I haven't been able to finish it. I feel like that's the only reason. But it's Mirror Mirror, which Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is one of my favorite fairy tales. So I want to be able to finish this. But again, I just haven't been able to do that. The next book is The Magicians by Lev Grossman. I've talked a little bit about this before. Oh, it's got one of those mm, fake stickers. I've talked a little bit about this before, but honestly, I just don't like the way Lev Grossman talks about women in his books? I don't, I just don't like it. I don't like the over-sexualized descriptions every time a woman walks into the scene. I just feels unnecessary. It's kind of distracting. Like, stop. And then no one's surprised that I say Anne Bonny by Stephen Utley because I love Anne Bonny, but I hate this book because it's just, it's like if I tried to put a wiki page into a book form and just change the words a little bit so I could avoid calling it plagiarism. That's what it feels like. And next is Treasure Island, which I finally finished. But I, I don't know why. I think it was the way that the pirates talked annoyed me. And like, somebody's supposed to be sneaky, but the way he talks is so obviously not sneaky that I'm just like irritated with everyone. Yeah. Treasure Planet's better. Then we have a book by the same author, Robert Louis Stevenson. And it is... The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I've tried to read this several, several times and it just has not happened. I don't, I can't even get past the first couple of pages. So I feel like it might be a timing thing. If I can't get past a certain couple of pages, it's probably more like my attention's just not there. So one day I'll might finish it. Then we have this winner. It's called The Journey of Man by Spencer Wells. I love reading, but they tried to make us read this before I went to college. Like they wanted everyone in the freshman class to have read this book. I, it's like not a big book, but it's so boring. Like I just, I can't. It's even got like pictures in it. There are things that I have underlined in here as if I would have been able to get anything from it. Did I underline this or did I get it like this? I don't know. All I know is I didn't really read it and I was bored. It was very boring. I couldn't. I was like, there are other things I want to read in my life than this trash. Then we have another nonfiction, a biography, Schultz. This is about Charles Schultz, who made the Charlie Brown comic strip. It's actually really interesting, and I got through like a section of it, and then I just had to stop. I don't know. 
Mm. I just feel like biographies that are this thick, I don't know why. Because, like, I understand you have a life and it's a long life. But, you know, Carrie Fisher has, like, a lot of stuff that happened to her in her life. And she has, like, several biographies. I feel like this would have been better as, like, several biographies rather than this one monster. But I also drew cartoons in my high school newspaper. So I wanted to, like, find out more about cartoonists and where they got their inspiration. And I just... what I, And his life was interesting. And the things that I did learn from it were interesting. But I, I barely got, like, this far, maybe in the book and I just couldn't no. then we have the midnight queen I was gonna do a month where I just read books that had the word queen in it because I had like so many books with the word queen in them that I hadn't read at that point um I've read some of them since then but I tried reading this and I got to like a certain section and then honestly I don't believe this is the book's fault that I did not get super into this but I was having like a really stressful time and this is like June last year or no, July, I think last year, when I had stopped reading this because everything just got really stressful at work. So now it's associated with that slump. It's not the book's fault, but now it's it's there in that, you know, connected to that slump, and I just can't. Eh. I honestly don't even know what it's about. I know there's magic. I remember there being, like, brothers, I believe, and it was, like, it started off with something traumatic. So it, it started off good. I just could not read anymore. Ooh, there's a bookmark. I was like, there's a bookmark, but it's it's like a, a picture strip of me and my husband. Oh, when we first started dating. I need to finish that book. Then the last book on this list is, honestly, I don't know why I expected to be able to get through this and just for fun. But it's an essay concerning human understanding by John Locke. First of all, the cover's all messed up, but... I was really into philosophy during like high school. I was really interested in it and I would read little snippets of things. But for some reason I was like, I'm gonna sit down and just read this like I would a novel instead of like looking through it, you know, and reading parts of it and then like still reading for fun on the side. And that was just, I set myself up for failure with this because I was in the slump. I was in high school and high school was terrible. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't. But isn't anyone really surprised that this wasn't like an addictive read I mean come on those are the 10 books that put me into a slump and again I can't really entirely blame the books some of those were just points in my life where I tried to read and just it didn't happen so now it's just connected with that point in my life and maybe one day I'll be able to get through it and maybe I'll make a better memory and maybe that association will fall off but at this point I, I just can't so hopefully in the future Maybe I'll finish these books. Maybe I'll have a month where I just try to get through all of my slump books. Except for, like, an essay concerning human understanding. And a journey of man. And maybe Schultz. And any of the ones that I've already read. That's all. If you would like more of this junk, subscribe below. Bye!